I have been meditating since I was a child. Many people think that meditation looks like this, but it can also look like this. And this. And this. And I've come to realize sitting and meditating isn't for everyone, and that's okay. Realizing there are so many ways to practice meditation revolutionized it for me. Some years ago, I discovered this concept of active meditation. It's when you do everyday activities that you enjoy, like cooking, walking, cleaning, and so on, but in a more mindful way. Instead of just walking and getting caught up in your thoughts, you use the time to bring awareness to the activity you're doing and to your surrounding environment. The way your feet touch the ground with each step. The way you inhale and exhale as the walk progresses. And it has the same sort of benefit as sitting and meditating does for many, because in essence, it's the same principle. Becoming the present observer. It dawned on me one day that I could apply active meditation to sewing, and it changed my life. When you're hand sewing, it's often for many hours at a time. And when I chose to approach sewing from the principles of active meditation, it meant I was able to technically meditate for many hours a day if I just slightly shifted my focus. And the process couldn't be more simple. When I'm stitching, I focus on my breathing. I take deep diaphragmatic breaths in my belly. I place my needle into my fabric and I inhale. And when I'm pulling the needle out of the fabric and securing the stitch I made, I exhale. Sometimes I'm stitching a little fast, so I'll give it a couple or a few stitches, but the principles remain the same. I can feel how much this regulates my nervous system, and I have no excuse not to meditate because if I'm hand sewing, then I can also be meditating. And by the way, thoughts and feelings will arise. The point of meditating is not to get rid of them. In those moments, I don't try to push them away or dive too deep into them. I just notice them. I label them. Oh, I'm thinking again. And I come back to the breath and to the tiny loops of every backstitch. There's a Tibetan Buddhist technique which I love, and you can also try. It's called Tanglen. Whilst you're stitching and breathing, if a feeling arises, and it may be a difficult one, you can breathe in the grief. You feel it just filling up your body. Not judging it, just witnessing. And when you breathe out, you imagine the feeling of gratitude filling up your entire being. I imagine this golden warmth, like the kiss of the sunshine on a spring day, radiating all over my face and my body. That's what gratitude feels like to me. This practice so often makes me cry, but in such a beautiful and cleansing way. And this is the way of sewing that changed my life.